NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's latest MIRI image revealed the chemistry of interstellar space in unprecedented detail, including emissions from carbon and hydrogen molecules, known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are thought to represent some of life's building blocks. This imaging capacity is critical for Webb's understanding of how stars and protoplanetary systems develop. Chris Evans, the telescope's project scientist, said, This is a really nice science example of what Webb will do for us in the coming years. We've done a lot of studies of star and planet formation in our own galaxy, but here we're looking at it in the Maginellic clouds. So small external galaxies, where they're chemically less evolved than our own Milky Way. The image, captured at 7.7 .7 microns, provides a clear glimpse of the nearby large Magellanic cloud. Along with the web image, engineers re-released an image at 8 microns from the now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope. The LMC was chosen as an excellent release target since it has already been examined by the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. In this galaxy, a star birth region called the Tarantula Nebula, a large cloud of gas and dust may be responsible for its high star formation rate, as collisions between this cloud and the interstellar medium compress interstellar gas and dust. The main objective for this analysis is to prepare for future observations of the evolved stellar populations of local group galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope by identifying the combination of filters that will maximize the ability to characterize the observed sources. While officials have yet to reveal which commissioning aim Webb would focus on first after testing is completed, they have stated that the observatory is on track to begin early release science this summer. Thanks for watching.